This is the glitchiest offense in Madden 23. Break yourself, fool! Thank you! Windows tinted on my ride when I drive in it. It's filled with unstoppable glitch routes. What the hell is that? And multiple one play touchdowns against every defense in the game. So if you want to see what explosive offense I'm using to get results like this, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip the Mad Cheese as always. Got a full breakdown of an offense that was probably my most used offense all year. And I realized I never put out, put out a full breakdown of this actual offense. The offense itself is the Gun Stack Y Flex, originally found out of my New Orleans Saints offensive ebook, but also the basis of my Pittsburgh Steelers offensive ebook that I put out late in the year. I'll have links in the description for all those things and in the top pinned comment if you guys want to check them out. But in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a full breakdown of just about every single play from this offense a lot of these plays i never even used in gameplay i just never needed them to be honest with you i really only used like five plays but there's like 10 or more plays in this offense that really makes it one of the best offenses in my opinion the best offense in the game in madden 23 and it'll probably be one of my first offenses that i put out in madden 24 so you might as well get used to it because i did play madden 24 for about a week and a half and they didn't touch it at all they didn't they didn't patch it they didn't nerf it nothing so i'm gonna begin the video if you guys want to see more videos like this as always please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section and that's it let's get right into the video next up out of the stack by flex we have the drive h wheel easy play against cover two just streak the x route y route's going to get open outside of it that's going to be the same against pretty much any man or zone to be honest against cover three do the same setup but if you motion this guy out He'll steal yards in the flats. Keep it to the short side. That's a really good route to cover three. You don't have to motion him out to have that effect either. But if you streak that X route once again against cover three, the Y route here is just wide open again, just like cover two. Like I said, any zone coverage is going to do that for the most part. Will have a good effect against cover four, though. As you can see, beats that outside as well. It just really follows. Everything's following that streak. They're too tight. They're too close together. And then cover for drop. It's going to get dropped the same way. Haha, -ha, because it's the same route, the same defense. I don't know. I didn't catch it. But you see it gets open. I'll do it again. So I'm just bullet and pass leading the second that that cornerback chases the streak. It's really that simple. And it'll do the same against any man coverage. We'll do cover two man just because, but it's going to work the same way. Cover two man is probably the best man coverage to cover this round. It still doesn't cover it. So covers just beats about any defense, any defense in the game. When it comes to the drive H wheel running back, you can really throw a quick out to the running back and get a very big play. Even if the, they're man aligned, which on that particular play they weren't, you could still have a lot of success in the flat with this because it gets open instantly. The, the, it only gets covered if it turns up field. The man coverage will eventually catch up, but if you do it like this, it will get open instantly. You also have the X route out here, which can get open as well, although that one is a little less um, obvious, and it's not necessarily a guarantee. As you can see, the cornerback here, you really have to wait for him to get outside the cornerback. The speed out route can be a very good route against man, but like I said, it's a little bit iffy. It really depends on who he's going against, and then obviously the running back works every single time. Like I said, right there. Sometimes if he doesn't bite, he can break on that and be a problem so to me the best route on this play is easily the running back to take against man coverage because you can see i mean even like i said even if he's man line to do it a million times online he does not get covered if you throw it instantly you have to throw it right away almost like you're pitching it out and not look before he before he crosses the line of scrimmage to be honest with you you can see right here you get some really big plays especially if the user forgets to cover the running back which a lot of people do next up we got the fade out start off with uh, tampa two I'll move this ball to the open side of the field here. This play here, if you don't want to make any motions with the running back, you can just put the X route on a streak, and you will have an opportunity to the Y route, although it's not going to be as big an opportunity if you motion out the running back. As you can see, I can make that play. But if I motion in the running back, if I put him on a streak, 
motion them over twice, motion them to the left and then motion them to the line, you'll notice that it changes how the cornerback reacts. I also find it's best to put the X right here on just a five yard out route. And that, that cornerback will drop down a lot quicker, giving you a much bigger catch and run opportunity outside. Now there, went out of bounds a little bit, but this is very easily capable of a one play touchdown. I don't think you even have to, to change the X route to be honest. I just feel like that's probably the better way to go. But you can see here I can pass lead inside a little bit more. Maybe if I had Quez Watkins running that, that might have been a touchdown. But uh, but there's definitely um, more opportunity if you run the play this way. I'm pretty sure I could probably throw to the RB route too, but I'd much rather throw outside. Like I said I could probably get it right over the middle there to the running back as long as they don't have a deep middle safety, which a lot of people will make that adjustment. Also has success against cover three. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick fade out again, cover three. Against cover three though, we're just gonna put him on a um, on a comeback route. That's all you gotta do. Run from a hash mark once again, because once he gets to this point, you have to bullet and pass lead outside. And that's also very capable of a one play touchdown. I'll go to the replay to show you what to look for because you're really just watching for the cornerback to, re to react to this route which he's just basically pulling him inside I mean you can see the, the receiver doesn't really, really get past him he just gets outside of him and then you can bullet and pass lead away to get that separation And this is going to work against cover three or cover four because the deep zone drops react the same way. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick cover four drop. Against cover four, you might want to smart route the X route just to get that cornerback to react a little bit lower. But you can see it still works the same way. It still gets over the top. It's just a, probably a little bit of a tighter window because you do have more deep cover safeties. Also has success against cover four match. So we're going to pick cover four quarters. Same setup, you can see it still reacts similarly and you can still drop it in the, in the bucket there. Next up, we'll choose that play again. This time we'll choose uh, we'll choose some man coverages. We'll start off with the Overstorm Brave. This here, I find putting them on a streak or putting them on a fade um, can have this exact same success. As you can see, the, uh, the receivers cross up the defensive backs once again, which is something that happens in a lot of plays in this formation. I said, I don't, you can get this animation from a streak or a fade, but I find a fade probably works best. But you can see that once again, they cross and the two defenders just basically just get on top of each other and get in each other's way. And eventually the inside guy gets a free release. So you're not always going to get that, but you know, keep a lookout for it. Once again, put this uh, running back into a check and release is another good tip here we go you can see they run into each other again by the time that cornerback gets off it's just a wide open easy one play touchdown so any man cover zero should really take uh, you know should take care of that next up we'll pick uh cover two man against cover two man you got a couple different options you can do the trick where you motion the running back over put him on a streak and then put the x route on a zig route and a lot of times you'll get an animation that looks like this where this guy is just wide open in the flat because they kind of bump into each other once again, which is kind of, you know, always the uh, the trick when it comes to this formation. And I'll do that again, just to show you that it's not uh, it's not a fluke. They get each other's way, and you get a get a big play that way. You can also do that exact same zig route, put the A route on a streak, motion in the B route. And you'll get um, you'll get an opportunity going the other way. Once again, you're gonna you know you can split the safeties. Probably want a little bit of a faster receiver there doing that, but you get a one play touchdown going that way as well. Could also use your that uh, that same concept with cover for quarters. So I'm gonna put the X route on a on a slant. I'm gonna put the running back on a check and release. I'm gonna put the A route on a streak and a motion in Brown. And against cover for quarters, as long as we can buy time in the pocket. The B route here will get open over the middle for a potential one play touchdown. We'll call that a touchdown, but you can see how you can split the safeties the same way. So that gives you really two one play touchdowns against cover four in this formation. 
Next up, we got the PA Reed. Gonna start off with nickel Tampa 2. So I'll put the Y route on a fade, put the A route on a curl. That's really all I have to do. I mean, I can block the running back. Uh, but you can see how this guy here is going to split the safeties. And it's going to be that way whether it's cover two, man, or zone. But I'll do that again. Like I said, the A route is a good comeback. It is a good option against man coverage. As you can see there, if I hold that ball a little bit longer, we get a nice, uh, you know, easy one play touchdown against cover two. Next up, we'll choose cover four. Go to cover four regular first. This play works best on a short side. Uh, bomb, which is the um, hash mark to the short side of the field. All you gotta do is fade the Y route, put the A route on a curl again. And the X route here will split those safeties just as long as you bullet and pass lead up once he gets inside the, the free safety. We'll go to the replay to show you guys what to look for. Like I said, once he gets inside of this safety here, He's already past the strong safety, so you can see I'm already loading up. And that's gonna be your one play touchdown because this sets up just get enough to get him past that strong safety. Works against cover four match even better. We're gonna pick that. Same setup. And we're going to get um, another, you know, this one here, we're going to get even more separation. As you can see, he just, for whatever reason, the, the both the cornerback and the safety chase that fade. Go to replay one more time. This fade route gets all the attention from both guys, leaving this guy just streaking wide open over the middle. I guess they expect the safety to rotate over to pick him up, but there's just nothing but separation here. Next up, we'll do cover two man. Same setup, fade the wire out. That's all you really gotta do. And wow, we're really getting going there. I don't know what happened on the jam, but uh, it's gonna work even with a less impressive jam than what I got, or less impressive release than what I got there. I'm not even gonna go to the replay because you're not gonna see releases like that every time. Um, this here is a little bit more realistic where he's behind still. And we're still getting that one play touchdown very easily. So, you know, same, th same thing as cover two, zero. And pretty much all man coverage is if you watch. I mean, they just they just get in each other's way, which is typical of this formation, which is why it's so overpowered, is that stacked formation, is the receivers are so close together, the defensive backs just typically get in the way against just about everything. Also works against man zero. Same setup. Anytime the routes intersect like this, the way that the, the, they're basically just running on top of each other, you're going to get this look and you're going to get separation. Even with the safety turning into a deep safety there, we still get over the top very easily. You can keep that safety away just by checking and release the running back one more time. As I messed everything up here, then we'll do that again. I don't know what's going on. I'm messing everything up. Like I said, check and release the running back. Got a good check down with the A route. And we got a very easy one play touchdown to this guy once again. So pretty much every you know play in this formation is gonna have that success. Also choose cover one man. Same thing, I'm gonna block the running back, but same thing, fade the Y route. And we're gonna have Similar success to the outside, although you can see, I mean, a little more speed would be nice. This isn't necessarily going to be as uh, as simple, but if you get a good, you know, like right here, they get each other's way, get that pass lead outside. Very easy, won't play touchdown against cover one man, just as long as those cornerbacks bump into each other enough. Might be able to get that same success with the, um, I don't know what I did there. So I'll do that one more time. I said they're getting each other's way. So I'll do that one more time. Like I said, there they're getting each other's way. 
I know I got myself a big play. And, you know, I, I probably could have held that a, a second longer. Might have been a better thing, a better, better way to go. We put the A route. If you want to get rid of your check down, you can always put the A route on the streak. You can put the B route on that zig. Just to try to pull that safety over as much as possible because he's really the only guy that can come in the way once this receiver gets deep. Next up we have the corner strike. Again, it's cover three, the corner strike. Uh, if you just streak the wire out here, we'll get open outside very easily. It's a very similar formation uh, effect. It's a formations effect, not necessarily anything else. As you can see, I mean, it just doesn't cover that very well. And I'm not really, I don't know, I'm not getting the best throws. It's almost pulling me out of bounds. But you can see we can have that effect over and over. Also has that effect against cover four. As once, I, once again, like I said, it's a formational effect. So it's going to have it against, you know, it's the formation is doing it, not the route. So it's the same thing as the previous play. Also has success against man. Same setup. And he's just whiffing. Same setup. Put him on a streak. And the X route is just he just gets cut off trying to trying to jam. As you can see, he just beats that. So very good play against pretty much any man or zone. That includes cover two. We're going to pick cover two sink. This one here is going to do a little bit better. But still not good enough, as you can see. I mean, that was just a bad throw. Here we go, here we go. Cover two zone is going to do a little bit better, but it's still not going to do good enough because it still angles to the weak area of the field. you got a safe catch if, I'm not, if you're not getting lower throws like I'm not. A little bit better accuracy or better quarterback would work very well. Then there's man coverage, cover one robber, it's going to show it has the against man coverage, you have just as equal a chance as the Y route to be the play, once again because everybody's kind of getting jostled around. So this is one of the few times where this is going to change who gets the ball. I'm going to put the A route and the Y route on streaks or fades. It doesn't really matter. Here we have a fade. And you can see, I mean, I just throw it up there. And he's getting past that. So, I mean, I, that was a fade. I think a streak probably does better. Okay, Except we're streaking and fading both outside, both slot receivers. But you can see the, the jostling is really what gets that to happen. And then we have a very easy one-play touchdown opportunity, although he had to stop to catch the ball again because Jalen Hurts has that much of an arm. Next up, we have the curl combo. We'll go ahead and pick the Overstorm Brave. This play here, anytime your opponent presses, which is really popular, especially when it comes to like the Overstorm Brave, anytime your opponent presses, all you have to do is put this X route here on a fade or sometimes a streak. I'll go on and block my running back. Sometimes a, a streak is the way to go, but you're going to see how this fade will a lot of times get him over the top. As you can see right there, he's wide open, but the pressure is going to force Jalen Hurts to throw some inaccurate balls because he doesn't do uh, too good a job with that. So we're going to do that one more time. Like I said, we'll just bring the user down, kind of recreate what most people do. But anytime somebody presses, just go to this play, put the X route on a fade, and he will get around, like right there. He just runs right through it. And the reason for that is simple. It's because the way that this play set up, there's a, a pressing mechanic Um that uh, kind of works against it. I'll go to the replay. Basically, the reason this play works is because the guy getting pressed, the guy at the front of the line, is not the guy that's supposed to be covered by this guy. You know what I mean? He presses, but he's supposed to be covering 16. You see, once the, once the play starts, 7 presses 6, but he's supposed to be covering 16, so once the play starts, he gets off the press. Now he's trying to cover, and it's way too late. So that's why this play works. Um, the comeback route can work, too, as you can see right here. I mean, they're still switching. As seven's chasing, it then becomes 20's guy, and it's just a, a whole confusion that gets him wide open. But this underneath route can get open as well. 
I'll block my running back this time and show you what happens if they don't press. The wire out will get open. If it's not done correctly, you can see the wire out's right there for the comeback. So both of those routes beat man coverage. It really just depends on what you're looking at. We'll go and bring our user down here once again, which is, you know, being controlled by nobody. Just to show you one more time how easily this play uh, can get gone. As you can see, it's just a lot of jostling. And then this guy's just wide open streaking down the field for an instant touchdown. Now, I have had success with this play against uh, cover three in press as well. So let's go and let's pick cover three. If somebody makes the mistake of pressing in any defense, really, it has a similar effect. So we'll go and we'll do that one more time. You can see how the, y, the X route gets over the top once again, although it's much less convincing, but we can still get a one-play touchdown. So any defense in press just should have success. Next up, we have the quick base. Another good run play if your opponent's getting a little too pass heavy on defense. That's all it really is. But at least this moves the marker. It's going outside more, where the previous play was more of an inside run. This one here, it's, it's potentially to be more of an outside run. Although the formation I'm, I'm, I'm looking at really seems to be tightening and shifting up and stuff like that. But like I said, it's a good run play. It's also a very close play to it by the slip screen. This A route gets open quick enough that you can make this the read, but at the end of the day, it's all about the screen, and it's a good um, thing to mix in. The zig route also gets open pretty quick if your punch running a lot of man, so you can use either one of these plays. Next up, we got the inside zone. Here we go, here we go. If people get too pass-heavy, you just hit them with this inside zone. That's really all there is to it. This is a very pass-heavy formation, so you're going to have a lot of opportunities where opponent might really come out in some gap-heavy control defense, trying to stop the pass, and then you can just hit them with an inside zone. Typically getting, you know, maybe five, ten yards, something like that. See right here, that was a double safety blitz, and we're just blown right past that. So you're definitely going to have opportunities for the inside zone. This is the best run play in the formation. Next up, we have the levels. So I'm just going to block my running back here. And you'll notice that there's a lot of good man-beating concepts, especially when it comes to the wire route. It's essentially a drag, but it doesn't open up like a drag, so the user won't typically be there. Um, but you have a lot of good options here. You really have like the A route, the pretty much every route here beats man. The A route though, you really have to make sure you have a, like a faster tight end than what I have because he's not going to break in front of that cornerback quick enough. So that's one of the few routes where I wouldn't suggest necessarily throwing it. But the B route here will get open in the break. Um, the, obviously, that's going to be your second best read because it's not over the middle of the field where the user will typically be. The X route will also get open, but he is over the middle of the field. So he's somebody that I probably wouldn't want to throw that you can see he doesn't really break quick enough because the, the the speed of the pass rush is kind of forcing me to get out quick so i would say on this play here you're really going to want to throw to the y route which takes a little bit longer than the b route to get open or you can basically just hit this b route next up we have the sail and pivot it's another really good man zero play the A route here is probably going to be the best one, although Goddard doesn't appear to be quick enough to really run these routes too well. But you can see it does get open. The B route will get open too, but the Y route is the one that typically will get forgotten. Like the, if you hit that tight end a few times, your opponent's going to start using the tight end. Then you can basically just hit the Y route on the other side. So you have two really good man-beating routes. Uh, and it really just depends on, you know, how your opponent uses. Like I said, we're getting Buda Bakers out there covered really well, but usually that's a much wider opening. And like I said, if you hit that tight end first, your opponent will start paying attention to that with their user. That'll basically just get the Y route open anyway, and then you can just basically run this play all game because you got multiple routes that get open. Next up, we have the Y sale. This play here is really, uh, you know, you split the field in half. I've got to move the ball to the center of the field because there's really good routes on both sides. The zig route's going to be best against man. The, um, the, the, the side that I'm typically going to start on, though, is going to be the right side. The running back is going to be a zone beater. The A route is going to be the man beater. It's really going to be that simple. Even here, like, the, like he drops down, I can still take the A route. So the A route's not just a, a, a man beater. But if I have somebody who's running a lot of man, I might just go straight to the zig. Here we got that tight end once again. Like I said, it's a very good route. If the but you're really reading the running back to the tight end, and you can really go to the other side too. Like I said, the zig route. It's a man coverage like this appears to be. The zig route's typically gonna be good, although they didn't do a very good job. But trust me, zig routes are great when it comes to man coverage. The check down is definitely going to be the in route as well. As you can see right there, not a very good reaction by number nine. Uh, but when the user leaves the middle of the field, that that's gonna be a route that typically gets open. Next up, we have the Z spot. It's another man zero play. This play right here, if you block the running back, the Y route really gets open real quick because the way the programming is in the game, they think that, I mean, they basically play it to the outside like they're waiting for him to turn outside. So if you throw it and pass lead inside, 
Before he does that, you can see he can just get open right over the top and have a very easy one play touchdown against man coverage. Basically instantly open against pretty much any man coverage. Also works against cover one. It's the exact same setup, exact same play. The safety though can be over the top and give you a little bit of an issue, but that's about it. Still a very good play against cover one. Like I said, you're really just using the programming against itself as you bullet and pass lead inside. Like I said, you can get one play touchdown if I can make this guy miss. That's the only thing, but otherwise it's a very good play. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.